Uh, hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, urethral obstruction. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share this video for more informative videos every day. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, urethral, obst uh, urethral obstruction is a blockage in one or both of the tubes known as urethras. So, the uterus carry the urine from your kidneys to your bladder. So there are two uterus. One comes out from the connects from the left uh, uh, kidney to the uh, bladder, another one the right kidney to the bladder. You know. So there are two uterus. So they care, their function is to um, transfer the urine from uh, the kidneys to the bladder. And uh, uh, a uterus obstruction can be curable, and uh, if it's not treated, symptoms can be can quickly move from the mild pain, fever and infection to the severe, which means a loss of kidney function, sepsis and death, you know. So the symptoms include uh, uh, like uh, the uterine obstruction might have no signs and symptoms and the signs and symptoms depend on where the obstruction occurs, you know, whether it's partial or it's complete and how quickly it develops, you know, and whether it affects one kidney or the both kidneys, you know. And the signs and the symptoms may include like pain, changes in the treatment, and the amount of uh, urine produced, you know, a difficulty in uh, urinating, blood in the urine, uh, repeated urinary tract infections, and the high blood pressure, it's known as hypertension, you know. So these are the common signs and symptoms which are associated with the uterine blockage, you know, or obstruction, you know. And if you have any of these symptoms, you should uh, consult your doctor. Uh, and uh, see the immediate medical attention that it could be dangerous, you know. And uh, the different types of the urethral obstruction have different causes and some of them uh, present uh, at birth, which are known as the congenital, you know. And they include uh, like, uh, uh, like urethral obstruction may be uh, like a duplication of the catheter, uh, ureter, you know, or uh, an abnormality where the ureter connects to the bladder or to the kidneys, you know and uh, uh, urethra C and uh, uh, like you know the duplication of the urethra means the tube that uh, carries the urine from the kidney to the bladder and uh, this common condition which is present at birth which is congenital you know causes two uterus uh, to form on the one side of the kidney the same kidney you know and the second uh, the uterus can be normal or only partially developed, you know. And if either ureter does not function properly, the urine can back up into the kidney and can damage the, uh, can cause the damage to the kidney, you know. And the other reason is uh, the cause is the an abnormal uh, uh, like uh, connection, you know. So, so which means that uh, at uh, uh, the opening. Uh, that is uh, from the kidney to the ureter or that's the uh, opening that at the uh, from the bladder to the uh, between bladder and the ureter you know there is some kind of uh, abnormality there you know and the ureter seal is another reason and uh, if the ureter is uh, too narrow it does not allow the urine to flow normally and uh, the tiny bulge in the ureter which is known as the ureter seal may develop and it can cause obstruction you know and uh, the other one is the uh, retro peritoneal fibrosis so this is a rare disorder and it occurs when the fibers uh, uh, fiber tissues grow in the area behind the abdomen you know and uh, the fiber may allow uh, it may grow uh, uh, due to cancers or may result from the taking certain medications used to treat the migraines you know and other causes may know uh, include like uh, uterine stones or uh, severe constipation or the internal tissue growth and the long-term swelling of the ureter wall, you know. So these are the other uh, other causes, you know. Now, uh, the ureter obstruction can lead to the certain complications uh, like uh, urinary tract infections, kidney damage, uh, and uh, which can be irreversible, you know. And the next thing is how your doctor will diagnose and what are the treatment options, you know. Well, often your doctor diagnoses uh, the ureter obstruction disorders before birth during the routine uh, ultrasound examination, you know, and which can show the details of the developing uh, fetus, including like the kidneys, the ureter, the bladder, the heart, etc. You know, and the doctors can uh, uh, often perform another ultrasound after the birth to reevaluate uh, the kidneys if they see any abnormality in the fetus. You know, and if your doctor suspects you, uh, you have an uh, 
obstructed ureter, you know, some of the tests that your our doctor will order are the blood and urine tests, you know, ultrasound and uh, uh, widening uh, uh, cysto uh, urethrogram, you know, and the renal uh, nucleus scan. Uh, cystoscopy and computerized uh, tomography that's uh, known as CT scan and the MRI which is the magnetic resonance imaging you know so these are the multiple tests which your doctor will use to uh, diagnose the uh, ureter ureteral blockage or obstruction you know once diagnosed then uh, the treatment options include like uh, uh, there are two types of the uh, drainage procedures and the surgical procedures you know now the goal of the uh, treatment is to remove the blockages and uh, if possible or uh, uh, bypass the blockage which can help to repair the damage to the kidneys you know and the treatment uh, might include uh, antibiotics to clear the associated infections you know now uh, the uterine obstruction that causes severe pain might require an immediate procedure to remove the urine from uh, the body and temporarily relieve the problems caused by the blockage you know and your doctor may recommend uh, a uteral stent you know uh, or a precautionous uh, nephro uh, nephrostomy you know and a catheter you know so in case of uh, a uteral stent a hollow tube inserted into the uterus to keep it open and uh, in case of precautious uh, uh, nephrostomy uh, during which your doctor inserts a tube through your uh, uh, back uh, to drain the kidney directly, you know, and uh, a catheter is a tube which is inserted uh, through the urethra to connect the bladder to an external drainage baggage, you know, and uh, this may be especially important if the problem is um, so with your bladder or uh, also contribute to the poor drainage of your kidneys, you know, and your doctor uh, can tell you which procedure is more appropriate for you, you know. And the other thing is the surgical options, you know, a surgical approach. Now, there is a number of surgical procedures used to correct the uterine obstruction and uh, the type of procedure depends on the type of the condition, you know. So, where is the blockages, you know. Uh, the procedures are known as endoscopic surgery, open surgery, uh, laparoscopic surgery and the robot-assisted laparoscopic surgery. Now, in case of endoscopic surgery, a minimally invasive procedure which involves uh, passing a light scope uh, through the urethra into the bladder and the other parts of the urinary tract and the surgeon makes uh, a cut into the damaged or the blocked part of the ureter uh, to uh, widen the area and uh, then places a stent in the ureter to keep that area open you know and this procedure may be done uh, to both diagnose and to treat the condition you know so uh, i mean uh, when uh, he is performing this procedure uh, during the diagnosing process uh, he can perform this procedure at the same time you know so you don't have to come back to the hospital for this procedure you know other thing is the open surgery so during which your surgeon makes an incision in your abdomen to uh, perform the surgery you know and the laparoscopic surgery is uh, which is performed through a small tube um, with a light and a camera that allows you the surgeon to see inside you know and the surgeon makes one or the more small incision uh, through the skin to insert those uh, lighted tube and other instruments needed to perform this procedure you know so this is known as laparoscopic surgery you know so it uh, the benefit is that uh, there is a rapid healing process you know and uh, minimally invasive you know and the robot assisted laparoscopic surgery is during which your surgeon uh, uses a robotic system to perform the laparoscopic procedure you know and the main difference uh, among these surgical approaches are uh, your recovery time after the surgery and the number and the size of the incisions used to uh, to perform this procedure and your doctor or the urologist determines the type of the procedure and the best surgical approach uh, to treat your condition thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Goodbye.